myself dr sandhya manoranj senior consultant neurologist base hospital hitech city as we know in our lifetime someone might be affected with dizziness or vertigo so let's know knowledge about vertigo or dizziness now coming to what is vertigo vertigo is a sense of false motion self motion even though there is no self motion that is vertigo it is closely resembled to dizziness also where the person doesn't have any self motion but they will have some spatial disorientation so a person with vertigo can also have dizziness initially and then later on vertigo dizziness is a feeling of disturbed spatial orientation but the, there is no self motion so these are closely related terms in a patient with vestibular symptoms there are two types of vertigo central vertigo and peripheral vertigo central vertigo means central causes of the brain that is there are certain structures in the brain which can produce vertigo they are the brain stem cerebellum and sometimes large space occupying lesion can also produce central vertigo and sometimes certain patients with vestibular migraine is also a central cause of vertigo now coming to the peripheral vertigo the word peripheral itself indicates that whenever any peripheral structures of the brain that is which is important to balance control that is the ear ear related structures it can be labyrinthitis or it can be vestibular neuritis or it can be related to the Uh, bony canal semicircular canal that is benign perceptional vertigo all can produce peripheral vertigo there are certain other causes of vertigo related to the neck that is we commonly see that is cervicogenic vertigo or cervicogenic dizziness there are variety of other causes that also can produce peripheral vertigo we see in the patient with vertigo they can have vertigo they can have dizziness or they can have certain visual symptoms such as visual illusions that they can see the images are tilted some images are far when they turn to the head and sometimes they may also have postural symptoms that is whenever they get up from the sitting position or whenever they get up from the lying position they stand they feel a reeling sensation that are the postural symptoms so the patient can have vertigo dizziness and postural symptoms and they will feel that someone is pulling them to one side that is called pulsion directional pulsion so these are the symptoms some patients can have history of ear block that is tinnitus ringing in the ear or they can feel ear fullness or they can have ear pain or they can have deafness these are the other symptoms associated with vertigo sometimes they can also have headache also if the person has suddenly vertigo what will happen if it is not controlled person will fall and then they will have head injury suddenly they will fall in the bathroom they will fall in the uh, road side or while driving vertigo they cannot see they will feel a, a sense of false motion so they can lead to accidents so these are the complications of the vertigo so usually we have uh, the studies have found that people with middle age that is between 50 to 70 years can have vertigo they are higher risk for vertigo and especially the females are also having higher risk group for vertigo and especially this all people will have most more of a peripheral vertigo but ladies will have other than peripheral that is central causes of vertigo first most important is there are test to know the actual etiology of the vertigo so whether it is central and peripheral so first the person should be evaluated in detail it includes both clinical examination and certain test so your doctor will examine you for the test so clinical test bedside they will do that is head impulse test your doctor will suddenly turn your head to either side right side and left side and then they will see the eye movement some nystagmus some jerky movements will be seen in the eyes and they will pick up whether it is ear related to vertigo or it is due to central vertigo sometime a person the eye will be directed to the one side 
that is Q deviation we tell in scientific terms that indicates that central cause of vertigo. So, head impulses your doctor will do and in cases of what we most commonly see is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo that is due to the autolith in the semicircular canal that can also produce vertigo. So, your doctor in the clinical in the OPD side they will do one manure that is called Dix Hallpack manure. What happened in Dix Hallpack manure? Suddenly he do, does um, person is made to sit and then made to lie and in the head down position at the 20 degree both right side and left side at a 45 degree and at that position the person will have severe vertigo. So, this is another method to confirm benign percussional positional vertigo. Then other testing sometimes your may, doctor may ask for ENT evaluation thorough to see any ear related cause is there, any ear block is there, any deafness is there. So, in that part of the workup is the pure tone audiometry at the test. Other test if the doctor feels that there is central cause of vertigo then MRA brain is needed. So, treatment of the vertigo depends upon the etiology of the treatment. Most common we see benign percussional positional vertigo that is semicircular canal involvement. So, in that if the patient person the clinician decides that it is confirmed BPV is confirmed by Dix Hallpack manure then the bedside itself the doctor will do one manure it is called Epilis manure. This manure can be done by both neurologist or neuroautologist or even ENT surgeon who are specialized in dealing with vertigo will do this manure and immediately the vertigo will be corrected at that instant itself. For older people they may require 3 or 4 times this epilis manure has to be done. And then this is the management for benign percussional positional vertigo. But we should know there are very various other causes of vertigo. For example, in patient with migraine. Migraine is a condition vestibular migraine. The person will have migraine with vertigo. So, we need to treat that. And sometimes most common we see in older people they will have orthostatic intolerance. Their vertigo or dizziness the reason is because of low BP. Whenever they are standing at that time BP is down and they feel dizzy or vertigo. So, you need to consult the cardiologist at that time and your blood pressure medicine to be adjusted. In commonly in females we see young females anemia is a cause of dizziness. So, we need to correct. So, treatment depends upon the etiology of the vertigo. Prevention of vertigo, it depends upon the again etiology. For example, a person is having vestibular migraine, we need to avoid the migraine triggers. There are various migraine triggers like sunlight exposure, certain foods or um, uh, sound, phonophobia, photophobia, all that has to be avoided. It changes from person to person. That is, migraine triggers should be avoided and for that purpose, they should have definite prophylactic medicine should be given. In case of benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, the person should continue the exercises, rehabilitation exercise which your doctor will tell you. The name of that exercise is branded Darov vestibular rehabilitation exercise. So, person need to continue to strength the vestibular apparatus that is the one method and second anti-vertigo drugs will also help and in certain cases your doctor may ask you to the fasting lipid profiles. If the cholesterol is high, there is high chance of producing autolith formation and benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And the other cause, if the if the person has acute onset of vertigo, for example, in a scenario of a older male, 50 or 60 years, sudden onset of acute vertigo and with blurring of vision, diplopia or any weakness, first possibility we need to consider is brainstem stroke. Stroke has to be managed according to whether it is decreased blood supply or it is the bleed. Like that it will go. And there are other causes of vertigo triggers we should avoid. That is in case of semicircular canal dehiscence. That is a one entity where a person will have trigger of head, uh, vertigo after a loud sound. So, we need to avoid lo loud sound in such cases. So, that are the certain triggers which we need to prevent. And if the, for example, young female recurrent dizziness they are getting and they are not drinking water, hypotension is also cause of dizziness. So, dehydration, we need to advise the dehydration. And we commonly seen is cervicogenic dizziness. In older age group, they will come with history of neck pain and then they will complete vertigo. If we miss that neck pain, we are not able to control the vertigo. So, neck treatment, muscle relaxant, calcium related drugs and in such case, we need to do MRA cervical. 
sometimes last triggers are the psychogenic. Even psychogenic anxiety stress also can provoke vertigo or dizziness in certain cases. So they need behavioral therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, reassurance. See, vertigo, it depends upon the etiology. For example, it is a green stick, it is a dangerous condition because it can take the life. Dangerous in another scenario, if the patient is on the uh, way and sudden vertigo is falling, he is having a head injury, it is a patient can have traumatic uh, brain injury, subdural hematoma, then it becomes dangerous. As such, it is not a dangerous condition. In certain scenario, it is a dangerous. See, vertigo, usually it is not considered as heredity, but the vertigo can be the associated symptom of certain hereditary syndromes like vestibular migraine. Migraine is a genetic disorder. So, that then we can tell it is a hereditary. But, and there are certain episodic ataxia. They are all hereditary syndrome where episodic ataxia, the person will have suddenly vertigo, uh, imbalance and then fall. It is a genetic condition. Yes, vertigo is mostly it is curable condition depending upon the etiology. See, vertigo, it depends upon the type of the vertigo. For example, the list of the duration of vertigo is we term in scientific is vestibular paroxysmia. Vestibular paroxysmia is a condition where in the brain one artery is there, around that artery the uh, artery will rotate around the vestibular nerve that is vestibular paroxysmia there the person will have multiple episodes of vertigo but it will last for seconds usually seen in females so that is exclusion of all other causes of vertigo shortest occurring and in benign paroxysmal vertigo the duration of vertigo is only one minute so duration of vertigo will help a neurologist or a clinician to diagnose the type of vertigo in case of vestibular migraine it will last for 5 minutes to even 72 hours. Vestibular migraine, vertigo can occur from 5 minutes to 72 hours. And in case of menial disease, menial disease, what happens? The patient will have sudden tinnitus of the ear and then they will also feel fullness of the ear. And after the attack, they will have hearing loss. In such cases, the vertigo will last for 20 minutes to 12 hours. Then one entity is there, psychogenic vertigo. In the, such people, they will have chronic vertigo, long standing. It can last for weeks or months. And in case of central vertigo, that is secondary to the brainstem causes, that is stroke, cerebellar stroke, even they will have long standing vertigo, like it can last for three months. Yes, stress, anxiety, even depression can cause vertigo. Yes, high blood pressure can also cause vertigo because it can produce stroke. Even the blood pressure, even high and low blood pressure both can produce vertigo. High blood pressure in terms of uh, increased perfusion or they can produce stroke or brainstem bleed, they can produce vertigo. And in patients with low BP even can produce vertigo and dizziness, especially on standing. So, such cases patients will clearly tell that they feel dizzy and vertigo when they are standing. But they won't have any dizziness and vertigo when they are lying. Yes, dehydration can also cause vertigo because how dehydration will cause hypotension, decrease intake of the fluids in the body, hypotension, so decrease blood supply to the brain and patient will have dizziness. They will have more of a dizziness. That is spatial disorientation feeling they will have rather than clear cut vertigo, self motion. Migraine can cause vertigo, that is vestibular migraine, a form of migraine, it is called migraine with vertigo, can cause vertigo. Yes, thyroid can cause vertigo, both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism can produce vertigo. How is that? Hypothyroidism means there is low thyroid level. So, whenever there is low thyroid air, your heartbeat will be reduced. So, person will have bradycardia. So, decreased blood supply, decreased heart rate, then patient can have dizziness. Hyperthyroidism is increased heart rate, palpitation and again, person can have dizziness. The triggers of the vertigo, that is in patients with vestibular migraine, migraine triggers will produce vertigo. In case of 
benign paroxysmal positional vertigo that is turning of the head sudden turning of the head rotation of the head on the either side rolling in the bed suddenly looking down suddenly looking up can produce vertigo and in case of loud sound in certain condition like semi circular canal dehiscence loud sound can produce vertigo and in case of orthostatic intolerance that is dizziness due to orthostatic bp is down at that time person when they are standing they will have dizziness so that are the triggers of vertigo usually vertigo has doesn't go away by its own it needs treatment either epilepsy manual depending upon the cause or vestibular migraine that patient should, should be on continuous prophylactic medicine but in certain scenario like that benign paroxysmal positional vertigo where the horizontal semicircular canal is affected the person can have short lasting vertigo and it is self remitting it is the only one condition where it will go by itself cervical vertigo means the vertigo secondary to cervical spondylosis what happen in cervical spondylosis there is muscle spasm prolapsed disc so muscle tightness will be there that itself will produce dizziness and vertigo so such cases we need to give the patient short course of um, analgesic muscle relaxant neurologic drug and in addition to that cervical strengthening exercise should be advised and we need to also check in such cases whether the vertebral artery is affected or not because the one artery is there we supply the brain which go through the neck region so for that doppler neck vessel has to be done see vertigo can be dealt with most of the neurologists neuroartologists and even the ent surgeons who are specialized in vertigo